The Nintendo Switch is full to the brim with games. Every week there are over 300 games on sale at any one time. Well, that's where we come in. I'm James Romero and every Sunday we go bargain hunting to help uncover the eShop deals worth picking up. Speaking of which, this video is brought to you by Hypercharge Unboxed. Recently, the dev team Digital Cyber Cherries released a Switch demo, so jump in and give it a try. The demo includes the tutorials and PvE and PvP content for you to test out before parting ways with your cash. There's a a major update in the works as well which is expected to drop at the end of November that is focused on enhancing the solo experience further with another one in the works which is hopefully coming in January which is all about the new survival mode. No rest for this developer team as they are committed to making this wave based toy box shooter even better over time. Give the demo a try and if you enjoy it there's a link below to pick it up. So what are the best eShop games on sale in the UK, US and EU? Let's jump in and take a look. I'm kicking things off this week with a monster bargain. It's Jenny Le Clou, an adventure game focused on exploration, story and character that is fully voiced and has a superb art style. It's simply one of the best adventure games on the Switch that there is. You play as Jenny LeClue, an aspiring young detective and obsessive pursuer of the truth, but nothing exciting ever happens in her small town and she longs for a real adventure. Jenny gets more than she bargains for when her mother is accused of murder. She embarks on a journey to uncover the truth and soon discovers nothing in Arthurton is what it seems. The story is full of silly bad jokes and purposeful cheesiness and it's a joy to experience. There are lots of small choices to be made along the way that aren't huge but affect ever so slightly your playthrough which is always a nice touch. Give this one a go and you won't be disappointed. Jordan Juan, what are your picks this week? Hey everyone, Jordan here with my bargain of the week. I have to go for a game that I reviewed back in the day, one that I have fond memories of, Wolverblade. This is a well put together beat em up style game with really nice artwork. You can tell it's been put together with passion as it goes through the history of the Roman invasion of Britain and the tribes trying to defend against it. The bloke who directed it is a history nerd when it comes to this stuff and it's just fantastic to see. The gameplay is really good too. I remember it being balls hard when I reviewed it, but I think they've tweaked it a little bit since then. It's now a magnificent 90% off, down to $2 in the US, $150 in the UK, and $169 in Euros. That's an absolute bargain, and the cheapest it's ever been. If you like Streets of Rage, River City Girls, this isn't quite as good, but it's definitely up there. Uh, you know, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. That's my bargain of the week. Hey there, James. With us going into lockdown for the next month, I needed something challenging and brutal. And Blasphemous is the game that meets that criteria. It's non-linear world to explore. Then Blasphemous is the game for you. The combat's absolutely brutal. You can customize your build by discovering and equipping relics, rosary beads, prayers, and sword hearts. There's loads of combinations here for you to find the best play style for you. And best of all, the boss battles are absolutely epic in scope and absolutely huge on screen dwarfing your character it's an absolutely great game i own this one now physically and digitally and it's especially good for those who like their worlds dark and twisted and with 50 percent off now this is an absolutely essential pickup take care everybody see you next week Superb picks there, guys, especially Wolverblade at 90% off. That is a fantastic deal. Now, this next one caught me by surprise. I picked it up when it went on sale, and I found myself playing it with a girlfriend non-stop. It's been a bit of a lockdown saviour. It's not a bad game when played solo, but it's clearly intended to be played together in local carp. The goal is to serve up dishes by collaborating. One of you chops whilst the other prepares the food and serves. It's simple at first, but it gets complex very quickly, leading to some genuinely tense and hilarious moments. You can play locally with up to four players as well as online, and with 50% off, I really do strongly recommend it. Now, of course, Overcooked came before its sequel, and I put it after simply because if you can only get one, then get part two. It does really build on the first title. Now, that's not to say that the first isn't solid enough. It is really good still. And if you want to dip your toe and spend a bit less, well, you can get this one for under five pounds. 
Another puzzle adventure, next it's Agent A. Now this is one that stands out for its comic style and retro story straight out of the 60s. It started out life on mobile, so it's a natural fit in handheld mode where the touchscreen does work nicely as you search for clues and figure out where to use your inventory items. You play as Agent A, infiltrating the lair of the evil Ruby LaRouge, but things soon go wrong. The puzzles are tricky. This is the type of game where you will get stuck and start randomly trying items out until something works. It's a little tough in places, but you get all of the episodes in this Switch version, so there's plenty of content making this a bargain with a humongous 90 or 95% off. Team 17 are really giving us the deals this week, and back in the 90s, I love the original Worms, the mischievous mayhem that sets your troops against your opponents in turn-based randomised terrain battles led to some great carnage. Over the years, the series has had some further hits, but also some misses. But to my delight, Worms WMD takes the series right back to its core. Silly and awesome weapons, 2D maps, and devilish voiceovers. The campaign is decent, but playing this with friends is where the true joy lies. Nothing beats a cheeky little kamikaze or uh, a banana bomb that knocks two or three of your opponent's worms off the edge of the screen, followed by a little cheeky, oh dear, or something to that effect. What a great memories they are. Rive is a platforming and shoot 'em up in the twin stick 2D style. I'm a massive fan of this type of arcade pick up and play game, and this is one of the best, but be warned, it's on the hardcore side of things. It will often have you nearly throwing a switch across the room, but with a whopping 93% off, you just can't beat this ridiculous price, and you're bound to enjoy it if you like those tricky games like I do. Yoka and Laylee are back in this nostalgic 3D platformer that feels more N64 than Mario Odyssey. The world is beautiful, the characters both good and bad look great and there is a lot of exploring and platforming and fun to engage with. Mostly this hits all the right notes and at this price point it's a good game to add to your collection. Earlier on we talked about Overcooked and how fun both of those games are, especially local cart mode, and this is very much along the same lines, both in terms of looks and gameplay. The premise is that you are moving company and you visit different buildings and get stuff out and deliver to the new place in the best possible way. It's simple and a pick up and play game without too much challenge. If you have a casual gamer alongside you that doesn't really want to get into those hardcore games, then this is the right type of game to play with them and get them into playing that Switch with you. This is one of those breath of fresh air games that comes along from time to time. If you are unfamiliar with Yoki's Express, it plays as a Metroidvania pinball game set in a beautiful fancy world. It sounds odd, but plays great. Exploration is the key and though it looks cute and certainly can be enjoyed with children, don't be fooled into thinking this is a really easy game. It has some bite to it. Don't skip this one at this price, honestly. I don't think you can go wrong. This is unique and fun and also beautiful. This package combines Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue, which is more or less its sequel. Following up the port of Assassin's Creed 3, which started out a little bit sketchy and then got patched, this time around they did a solid job from the off. The port is done very well and this package brings together two pirate-filled games in the series and throws them onto your Switch at a decent price now that it has 50% off. It's really enjoyable playing these games in handheld mode. Give it a shot. Darkest Dungeon is one tough cookie. It's bleak and you will fail often. This is a story-driven turn-based RPG with randomized dungeons and permadeath for your characters. The themes of stress, fear and affliction. Each time you take a party into battle, you risk losing your characters or having them lose their minds. It's cleverly done and adds stress to every encounter. You're constantly balancing whether to press on and in between stages you need to heal and rest up, recruit new members and figure out how to best split your resources. Holding everything together is the fabulous writing and exceptional voice acting. This one is not for the faint of heart, but if you are after a challenge, this might be for you. My Time at Porsche is an immersive open world title that evokes the sense of being in a storybook. It's a life sim game that filled the gap whilst we were waiting for Animal Crossing. It's a big old game with lots to do, complex quests and a surprisingly deep and at times difficult gameplay curve. In all, a great game that also looks gorgeous, but the Switch port took a beating. Loading times were very poor and the visuals took a step down. Thankfully, there have been a couple of patches that improve things since launch to the point that the game is much more enjoyable, albeit it's still not perfect. At this price, it's a nice game to pick up and give a try though. Next up, it's The Escapist 2. This sandbox from Molded 2 Studios was picked up and published by Team 17 and it's a blast. Now, if you've seen this series for a little while, you will know that I love this one and it's been on sale quite a few times. So I won't dwell on it for too long. Basically, 
This one is all about escape by any means necessary. Now, the beauty of this game is the additional content that has been added with multiplayer and more prisons to the original 10 to enjoy, and the fact that you can work out wonderful plans and get away in any which way you like. With 75% off, give it a go. Planet Alpha is the kind of game that went a bit under the radar. It's a platformer that is both unique and shows its inspiration at the same time. Landing on an alien world and without any weapons or traditional means of defense or attack, you largely use the stunning planet itself to achieve success. There is a true alien feel reminiscent of the Oddworld series and Another World. Giant creatures roam the land and there is an abundance of vegetation unlike on our home planet. The story is linear and enjoyable and what makes it stand out is the clever use of the day and night cycle which you can control and manipulate in order to solve puzzles. The graphics are low-fi but stunning in my opinion and this one is really enjoyable solo from start to end. Toki Tori 2 is a side-scrolling 2D puzzle-based platformer with cute graphics in a nice package. This time around they built on the first by adding more stages and puzzles and overall the game has a healthy 10 hours or so of playtime and at first it feels very much like a game directly aimed at children with its two-button mechanics. Not long in though the difficulty starts to ramp up. With such a deep discount this is worth picking up. Lovely graphics, cool puzzles and some easier and tougher content to satisfy everyone. And there you have it folks, a bunch of eShop games on sale worth looking at. What's your pick this week? Do let us know down below. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. I hope you had a fantastic Halloween. We'll see you again on the next one. Until then, take care.